keeping an eye on the interior. News 13 Sports starts right now. Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with sports. We open a huge Monday sports cast with the Tanana Valley State Fair Championship Mud Drags. Final qualifier on Saturday, but Sunday was for all the marbles. State champions were named in each of the seven classes. I will run through the winners all week, but today we start with the fastest mud trucks in the state, the Open Class 4. A tough day for the Tundra Terror, DQing twice for 60 second times and finishing fifth. Crowd favorite Ren Parrish in two-wheel drive fashion claimed the number four spot, driving the wicked one. To the trophy finishers now as Max Heineken took third place, making four runs in 58.19 seconds. All the way up from Valdez, Mark Lindemann drove Devil's Daughter to a second place showing with a combined time of 26.2 seconds on four runs. But the fastest mud truck in the last frontier is Dirty Thrills, piloted by Heather Heineken. Three of her four runs were sub five second rallies as Heineken finished with a combined time of 18.68 seconds. She had the fastest truck run of the day, a 4.2 second burst through pit two. Heather Heineken, your class four state mud drag champion. I will have class one and three for you tomorrow night. Oh, what a weekend to open prep football. North Pole and Lathrop took care of business Friday on the road. The Patriots beat Diamond 32-14, while the Malamutes outlasted Nikiski 44-41. That left three local teams, Isleson, Monroe, and West Valley, with home games on Saturday. We start our coverage with an exclusive television look at an out-of-conference battle between the preseason number two Homer Mariners and the number three Isleson Ravens. Dirty Birds putting in work early. Anthony Griffith scored on runs of 12 and 16 yards to put the Ravens up 14-0 at halftime. The sophomore running back says he just trusts his body to make plays. Kind of just the instinct kind of thing, you know. I just, I don't know. I'm not really thinking. I just let my body do the work. Homer narrowed the gap to 14-6 midway through the third quarter. Then Raven Javante Kincaid took over. On offense, he fashioned a 40-yard touchdown scamper off a botched handoff, retaking any Mariner momentum on his first of two second-half scores. On defense, Kincaid helped shut the door on a 26-6 Raven win. The senior always happy to beat a Northern Lights Conference team. It feels pretty good. We got a good win. We played hard. We were slowing down sometimes, but we picked it back up, and we had a good win. But, you know, we put on our goal board for this year, so, you know, we're just, uh, uh, we're real happy with it. You know, they were definitely a big physical team, and, 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 and we were happy we could hang with them. Back here in town, the Monroe Catholic Rams opened Great Land Conference play, hosting the Barrow Whalers. Ram junior Alex Callahan used his foot to account for points off a Monroe record three field goals and one extra point. The co-captain helped the defensive effort with a fourth quarter interception to seal a 16 rip week one shutout. Head coach Bobby Pace proud of his kicker and says Ram fans have not seen anything yet. You know Alex is he's put some out at 45 and 50 yards in practice so he's an impressive kid we were real confident. You know sometimes we just can't punch it in and it's good to get those focus up there just to get some points on the board helps us a lot. We worked as a team we came out with the win. They've been working their tails off in practice. These young guys, they've been hitting great, and um, they brought it to it. And finally, Saturday's nightcap, the West Valley Wolfpack hosting the Chugiak Mustangs and head coach John Patterson's debut. The Anchorage team controlling the line of scrimmage early, scoring on the game's opening drive for a 6-0 lead. Second quarter now, West Valley special teams with the spark. From there, it would take just one play for Jamal Cummings to find pay dirt, pounding the rock straight up the gut from 15 yards out, pack up 7-6. I had a lot of determination because our line made a great surge. And I got up the field, it was a huge hole, so I just wanted to score. And that score really got the pack rolling. Lorenzo Graham struck from 33 yards out, West Valley's second score of the quarter, one of his two touchdowns on the night, 14-6 pack. Then just a great individual effort from junior Elijah Connell, who took a short Tucker Ploss pass to the house, finishing with a nice little leap into the end zone, and the pack rolls to a 35-12 victory, giving Patterson his first career win as a head coach and completing a 5-0 weekend for interior schools. In total, four different Wolfpack players scored, including Dominic Anderson, who sprinted for a 30-yard touchdown in the third quarter. It's that type of balance Patterson wants to see from his offense. We cannot be predictable. You know, we're going to spread the football around. We're going to attack the defense where they, you know, what they give us. You know, and so um, and we adjust during the course of the game when the defense adjusts, you know, during the course of the game. And so when your number's called, you have to make a play. And that is going to wrap it up in sports for today. Stay tuned for Nikki Carvajal next in weather. I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.